I like to be as transparent as possible on this channel, so I am going to return the M3 Max MacBook Pro to Apple. I did not really plan to do this because I am really happy with its performance, it's working really good, and especially in video editing, editing high quality 4K video uh, files from this camera, because just fluid through DaVinci Resolve and of course music production in Ableton Live is working well as well. However, I noticed on Apple's website that they have an extended period now where you can return products to them. It's probably in relation to the holidays. So if you got anything between November the 3rd and December 2023, you can get uh, refunded the full amount you paid. Yeah, that's basically something they have uh, at this uh, point i think it's going to end in january the 8th usually this time period is 14 days at least where i am so i checked if my mac was eligible for this return and uh, it was eligible for that this means i can get the full amount i paid for the mac back to me that is uh, around five thousand eight hundred dollars and uh, of course that's a significant sum for a computer and yeah i knew that when i bought it it's not like i realized it now and i i won't have to deal with people if i at some point want to sell it on the used market and maybe try an m3 based mac studio something like that if i know myself and when the Mac Studio comes out, it's not something I'm not going to look at, but uh, we will see. Because everything I test on this channel, uh, hardware and software, is bought and paid for myself. Obviously, it's a channel with uh, actually 5,000 subscribers now, so you can't expect to get anything sent to you. Except two plugins, which I have gotten for uh, free. Siri obviously like to listen to me. But anyway, so doing this, uh, returning the Mac opens up possibilities to try other things or maybe do something PC related if we are talking about hardware at least and, or gear. If you have followed me for a while, you know that I like fiddling with gear and computers. But if I'm going all in on the Mac, it's going to be very expensive. It's not sustainable for a small channel like it. this. It's not like I can go out and buy an M3 max and then hmm yeah let's see if we can uh, empty our savings and try on mac studio for a week and get like 50 dollars on a video it, it's it's not sustainable so this means i might not get to that ableton live 12 and m3 max test if you expected that i am really sorry about that but again i want to be as transparent as possible in what you can expect there and if you are sitting and waiting for me making a video about Ableton Live 12 and M3 I guess you have to go somewhere else there's actually a lot of uh, good people doing tests like this now as well for music production uh, also nothing will really change editing recording videos I would just be using my Ryzen 7950X PC and I'm going to try to set up a system that makes it uh, easier for me to make videos I um, also maybe want to get into streaming maybe have a music production session streaming session where i produce something where you can we can have a bear or something and uh, you can have the project afterwards something like that click like if you like that idea or better yet subscribe and if i worked as a dj or if i was traveling performing live i would not get rid of the macbook pro obviously it's a it's a tool it's like a uh, drill or a hammer if you are working with this as your job if you are doing that you maybe you can also consider the 14 inch if you are traveling on planes a lot because it's a little smaller but it's performing more or less almost the same in some cases but i'm not doing that for the confused people no the m3 max is not a bad computer for music production it's absolutely one of the best machines for that if you need the portability and power in my opinion and returning it doesn't really change my opinion on it there are a few things that is annoying me around uh, mac os and it's uh, it's updates i have an audio interface from army it's the uh, fireface and it just stopped working after a system update I had to reboot a few times to get the driver awaken or something like that and yeah after that it was no biggie so it worked afterwards and the initial installation of the driver was not really straightforward 
you have to disable some security settings on your Mac before getting it to work. This is for RME audio interfaces. This is not probably something you are going to expect if you are buying a Focusrite interface or something like that. It just plugs into the Mac and works uh, just fine, but I'm digressing here. I'm also having an issue with my synthesizer on the Mac, uh, or not really the synthesizer, hardware-wise it works fine, but uh, the um, software uh, from Moog, the control plugin is not working uh, that good. It won't show third-party presets somehow, and it has some issues communicating with the synthesizers. Uh, I haven't been able to solve that. I have asked Moog support, and they are helping, but the answer time is extremely slow. It's like two weeks between <laughs> each answer, so that's uh, an issue. I also had a few crashes when I was inserting my USB hub, changing between the PC and changing between the Mac. The crash or the kernel panic did disappear after an uh, OS update from Apple at least. And uh, I had none of these issues on my PC by the way, so well, it's just facts. Besides from that, I am really happy with the M3 MacBook Pro. I want to reiterate, it is a great uh, machine for music production and video editing in its portable format. It's an expensive machine. But I mean, what do you really expect? It's an Apple product. You know what you get. You get a quality product and uh, yeah, you can get to work right away. It's, it's just what it is. If you want to save some money, but you still want to go Apple, you can look for a used M2 Pro and get an M2 Pro with the most performance course. I don't remember what kind of options you had there, but I think you had, was it eight? Yeah, get it, get the M2 Pro with the most performance cores. And this will probably give you the best, uh, what can I call it, Apple performance for your dollar if you want to save some money. So now when Apple made it possible to return a Mac and get a full refund, the choice for me here was easy. I'm still going to produce music, of course, talk about promotion and other things on this channel. The change is really just a tool change to a PC for the moment. And if you've been following me, you have seen on my channel, I have done this a few times. Yeah, it's, it's mainly because I'm interested in it. And uh, it's also the YouTube channel is actually one reason I'm doing this because it's something that people are interested in. I know I get people to this channel if I do tests like this and you know, it's, uh, I think it's a fun thing to do, but again, it, it kind of interferes in what I really want to do. It takes away time from uh, the actual thing I want to do, which is music production and Personally, I am a little, I don't, I'm, I don't want to call me cheap, but I want to be smart with my money. And uh, yeah, I, I think that uh, having these $6,000 back will enable me to do more things. I mean, I'm going to make a video about how much I used on promotion in 2023. I used under $2,000 on promotion in 2023 and the Mac was costing like three times that. So, I mean, I could use more on promotion. I think I would get more return on investment for that. But uh, I'm digressing, digressing, and that's uh, probably another video. So if you want to stick around for more videos, I want to thank you for being here. And uh, maybe I will see you in the next one. So now you know, take care and uh, goodbye.